so in fractional horsepower motor series uh, now we are going to discuss about the fourth type of uh, single phase induction motor that is shaded pod induction motor so let's begin but uh, listen carefully dear uh, friends that shaded pole induction motor is quite different than other motors like split phase induction motor capacitor start or capacitor run motor it having little bit different structure so first of all you have to understand this so let's begin keep in mind that shaded pole induction motor is different in construction wise working is similar it is but obvious it runs on single phase but its construction is definitely different different than our other type of single phase induction motor so what is shaded pole induction motor so every in shaded pole motor stator pole is divided into two parts by keeping a small slit in the pole face and the smaller portion is converted with the thick short circuited copper wire called shading band okay so the sentence means that this motor having a stator little bit different which i can indicate here the area of a and area b is the part of stator but you can observe that b part is similar like last motors it having a winding uh, winding uh, wounded on the stator but if you will concentrate on the part of area a there is one small shading coil is present that means this area of stator has been covered with a copper metal or bar which create this area highly conductive so highly conductive is the good word for shaded pole induction motor so you have to keep in mind that our area a having a shaded shading coil which we can call a copper band and b is a normal stator so here rather than making a main coil and auxiliary winding main winding and auxiliary auxiliary winding we designed a normal winding with a stator but in small part of winding we have placed a good quality of copper so that it will act little bit different than this area b so second point when stator winding carries current the main pole produce the flux fire means when we provide a supply through this winding then this stator will produce flux which is we can call fire this flux link with shading band and this band act as a shorted secondary winding this flux links with the shading band and this band act as a shorted secondary winding stator winding b is primary winding circulating current induced in the band produce another flux fires so here it is that if i will provide the supply the phi m will be produced in entire this stator winding but same time we have to consider this band and because of this band here the traffic of transferring current is little bit higher than this b band area and that's why a separate independent and different flux will be created in the area of a which we call phi s so we have now two fluxes in a stator one is phi m another one is because of this area a 
five is so and now this band act as a or this area a act as a secondary winding that means now automatically i have two windings one is primary and one is secondary or one is main one is auxiliary winding so see uh, here we can conclude that now i have two windings one is with main plus carrying winding another one is the winding which flow or create the flux because of this copper band okay so here we can do this similar way on the second pole means magnetically we can't define it but we have one, this one pole and this is another pole suppose we can consider during it as a n pole then but obvious it will act as a second pole it will act as a s pole okay so n and s for that purpose i need two poles so in first pole i have area a and b area a create phi s because of this copper band the current carrying capability is good and that's why the flux here is different definitely different than this area b so i have two fluxes in area a i have phi s in area b i have plus phi m similar way this um, second pole is also working like same but it is definitely if it is n then it will be act as a s pole now how it will work means how the motor will run means see the rotor is here it is also a cage rotor square cage rotor so the rotor principle is similar if it will face fill or act with the two different magnetically phase differentiated fluxes then it will create a torque and this torque will be definitely a rotating torque or alternating torque because we are going to provide a alternating supply to this motor that's why it is a rotating torque or alternating torque now how it work at the instant t1 means in a very first moment current is increasing the induced emf tries to oppose it thus the flux phi s oppose it and the resultant flux is in unshaded part see what it says that in unshaded part the current will be increased here also it increase and it will oppose the area b but at the first time instant because of the area b part is in leading so the flux concentration or resultant rotating flux will be in this part now at instant t2 current is almost constant induced emf and flux phi s are negligible at instant t2 current is almost constant induced emf and flux phi s is negligible these are two important cons uh, constant or consideration then resultant flux is almost at the center of the pole thus it has shifted the its position so now the meaning of this sentence is when the current will start to increase in area b after that it will also going to increase in area a at one instant both are equal that time it will act in a center of this pole see at t1 instant it will start or begin with the area maximum contacted so we will consider as my arrow shows this area will be the t1 instant now when a and b are equal that time this this must be the area of instant t2 okay so see our 
area of concentration of flux has been moved from this area to center. Now, at instant T3, current is decreasing and induced current and flux phase try to oppose this decrease. Flux resultant lies in shaded part. Now, at the instant when this copper band is totally activated, that time the maximum flux will be in this area, but we have the huge area or as compared to A, we have the B area, bigger area in B section. So, this B area will try to oppose it and A is also try to overcome it. But considerably, because of copper bands, this area can carry more current. You have to understand this thing like in area B, there is no any special winding or a structure which will carry maximum flux but here in area A we have copper band so that will get the maximum current from the supply and will produce maximum flux but obvious so now at instant T the flux concentration means resultant flux concentration or rotating flux concentration should be in area A so now we can observe three things Flux, resultant flux started from the area which I, I am indicating right now with my mouse cursor in the initial part of my area B. Then after the opposition started through the A area, it comes on the B, uh, say middle portion of B structure or B pole. After that when the concentration because of copper band, A has been increased the resultant flux shifted in the area of A. Now you can observe a movement in this half cycle. Similar way this half cycle will also work and that's why our motor will run. So this action continues and resultant flux rotates from unshaded part to shaded part. Hence, the rotor also rotated in the same direction. Such motor develop low starting torque and it has a low power factor. Why? Because, see, the last sentence told us that it having a very low starting torque and it has low power factor. Two things here they have described. First thing is low starting torque. I will tell you why. Because in area B, the T1 instant happen in area B, but there is no big concentration of flux in one place. That's why flux get distributed. So the force definitely will get distributed, and that's why our starting torque is very less. Second thing is low power factor. Now this is task for you all comment below that why this motor having low power factor if you know the concept of power factor i have explained each and everything which can prove that why this motor having low power factor i have already explained if you listen this carefully then you can answer this very easily please comment below in comment section your answers like share and subscribe my channel now how can i reverse of the rotation of this motor here is this one is tricky thing in single phase uh, induction motor we know that i have two windings and i can interchange any one windings direction and i will get the reversal of the motor but here I have to change the location of this shaded pole. So this, this will be a little bit risk, um, uh, tricky. But if I want to change the direction of this motor, then I have to move this A area before B. Similar way, A area before B. Then only I can 
change the rotation of my motor now application of this motor table fan blower washing machine refrigerator most of these appliances are uh, running or working on a one prescribed speed this is the hint for you that's why we keep this applications for for shaded pole induction motor this is the explanation for shaded pole induction motor i hope you all understand this if any query ask me in comment section in next uh, video i will explain about universal motor see uh, these topics are a little bit tricky so that's why i am preparing a separate video for each and every explanation or each and every motor so please follow me please uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much